In other words, no university, none that I've approached, even my own university, will go up against the government. It is too political. So you can't do the research to prove, not in this country, to prove what is going on. And even if you did it in a, in a private institution, they would never say that it was good enough? <laughs> No, but I mean, yeah. I, I have two university degrees and yeah. a diploma. I'm yeah. well qualified yeah. to do this. Yeah. Um, a multi-millionaire in this country yeah. said, I will cover all the costs. Yeah. I had a blank check, but they wouldn't do it. It's too political. Yeah. Uh, and this is where we are. We have a government that controls what the universities say. Uh, and I think that is a very sad state in the world. And I know it happens in some of the universities in America. And I know it happens in, uh, I think it's a Scandinavian university, um, where people are either sacked or told not to research this. Yeah, in Kaolinska, in the Stockholm. <coughs> That's, uh, yeah. Johansson, he got the yeah. message that either he, he leaves or he shuts up. Mm. And they have moved him around. He's sitting in almost a little <coughs> box now, and he cannot do anything because he don't get he doesn't get any funding. There was a, a, a professor of uh, experimental medicine in America uh, who I've spoken to, and he rang me one night, and he said, "Be careful, Barry." He said. I have just lost my entire research department uh, and, and from that university, speaking out against the mobile industry. And he got a job with another university, but overnight they shut him down. Overnight. Yeah, that's, we also saw that with Professor Santini in uh, France with the mm -hmm. mobile towers. And I have uh, you know, <coughs> Professor Meyer. Professor Mai from Germany about he talks yeah. about free energy and scale waves and all this, but I did an interview with him uh, last year. Oh, actually, he I let him talk because you know he is in the, in the, all this physics and I'm not in physics, so I yeah. couldn't really say anything intelligent. <laughs> so, but he says he said I, I won't talk about the mobile phone industry, but he talked half an hour, and when that comes out together with this, you know, yeah. it, it's but Barry. If I remember when I go to Copenhagen, I hate being in the big cities actually. I, I yep. prefer countryside with nature and animals and so on. But you know, normally I get tired and I also get very warm. Could that be due to the heavy CO2 uh, so that there's actually not enough oxygen? So, Easy. therefore, you get exactly tired and you get <coughs> more and more yep. apathetic and, in, and lazy. And, well, it could be due to the CO2. It could also be due uh, that maybe you are becoming sensitive to microwaves. Not really. Um, yeah. But you wouldn't know if you're becoming sensitive. No. There, there is no way for you to know. Yeah. Unless you go somewhere where there are no microwaves and you recover, you wouldn't know. And this is one of the problems. Yeah, but I stay <laughs> normally in places where there are no microwaves. Yeah. Oh, then you're okay. Yeah. Then you're okay. And I stay with the computer but, sometimes 15 hours a day without yeah. problems. But uh, I mean, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide poisoning, yes. Yeah. Certainly. So that's exactly what's happening. And, mm. and people are becoming so, you know, it's sad for me because I say, we need to do this. And they say, oh, you tell us what we need to do. And people go into resistance. I try to free them from, from this. But that's what's happening. Mm. Too much CO2 from the wireless. But what I can't understand is why, why these people have so much power. I mean, people in government must now realize what is going on. Uh, we have kings, queens, the people I've spoken to, they all realize what is going on. The people themselves realize what is going on. Um, when I was, I, I was in court once trying to uh, argue against the Tetra, and at that time there were some 
90 other places in this country fighting Tetra. Uh, you know, so people know what's going on, they know the harm, but nobody is able to do anything. And that's what confuses me. Yeah, but it's, it's really, yeah. I've been through all that mm. too. What I see this as when people become so influenced from these technologies and mm. lose their energy, their vital energy, yeah. they become automatically fearful. And being in yeah. fear, they cannot take action. And then again, they are all dependent now on uh, income. Yeah. Two incomes, because yeah. they, the houses have got bigger and bigger and bigger, the cars, yeah. because people have got more materialistic. Yeah. So now they are so dependent. And, and in, in times where we have recession or depression or whatever, the ones controlling, they have the power because the other ones are afraid of being sacked. Yeah. Because, you know, by all the letters I've written and DVDs I have sent, I would have a very bad taste in my mouth if I were the receivers of that. Because how can you resist this and say, it's about children, it's about coming generation, they just do this yeah. because they need their money. But it's not just, I mean, when I spoke earlier of, of the birth defects and the genetic defects in children, Yeah. It is the birth defect and genetic defect of every living thing. We're yeah. talking in the oceans, plant life, trees, animals, even slime mold in the soil. It is because when you get down to the, the DNA, it is all the same. There is no difference between slime mold DNA and my DNA in terms of the, at the atomic level, how it's made. There are different genes and different chromosomes that work, but when you get to what they're made of, there is no difference between all of them. Uh, and they are all affected. Every single living thing on this planet is affected by the microwaves, everything. But when you then look again about the GMO and how Monsanto from the US is, is, is pushing that through, then it might look like a genetic experiment they're running here, that, that what we call life, the normal life, the human life and everything, is actually being reprogrammed, is being changed. So we can only eat things now in the future, mm -hmm. that's GMO, and you know everything is becoming so synthetic in this world. Yeah. But um, we will change it next year. But, yeah, I, 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 what confuses me is the people force, I wonder whether the people up there, whether they think that once they've destroyed the planet, there is a spaceship that's going to take them somewhere else to live, because they have to live here. And, and this is what confuses me, is if they have, do they actually know what they're doing? Because you know, what's the point of, of ruining, a, ruining a planet when, you, when you've got to live on it? So uh, I, I don't can't understand where they're going. If you look at the picture <coughs> you have in the background, oh yeah, yeah, uh, they are not reaching out mm. for the true God. They are not connected to God, the true God. So but, actually, but they must realise that if they want to be wealthy and powerful, you can only be wealthy and powerful if there are people who are poor below you and people who do what you say below you. Yeah. And if you make them all sick or you destroy the infrastructure of the planet so there isn't enough food and there are riots and they're all going to come after your palace or something. So I can't understand their mind, the way they're thinking. No, they have a sick mindset. Possibly uh, a sick uh, mindset. They say, you know, it's we're living in a psychopathic control grid or society and most of the people on top they're really psychopaths and they have all the traits and they're cold-blooded you know they will kill you and I without blinking mm. their eyes because they have no empathy oh I know I know they are prepared to kill people yeah um, in the experiment I said earlier with the servicemen yeah. um, they had 20,000 servicemen most of whom died with Tetra uh, we're probably looking, I don't know, 100,000 people may die of brain tumours. 
Um, you know, uh, it, it's a colossal. If we got seven thousand in this country, 